Welcome to my channel. I'm Diane, the owner of Vermont Lavender, where I make a lot of skincare products like soaps, handmade soaps, shower steamers, bath bombs, body butters, and many other skin loving products. And if you want to learn how to grow your business or just even make skincare products for yourself, let's get going on making some shower steamers using a 3D mold. And the first thing that you do is you melt down your menthol crystals and this is the rubbing alcohol and it is the menthol crystals and that's what you measure out and it's in a warm bath water and then you just move it around and then you want it nice and clear and so these are all melted and they're set to go okay so i'm going to measure out my baking soda first and i'm making a single batch so I think my other video, uh, how to make super strong shower steamers, was a little bit confusing for people. So I'm going to make a single batch with this one. So you always want to strain it. And I'm using a stand mixer too. Uh, you don't need to do that, but it does make it easier to do that. You can use a hand mixer. Then I'm going to add my kale and clay. And then I'm adding some turquoise steel mica powder. And this is from Crafter's Choice. So that's wholesalesuppliesplus.com. going to tear this out and add my fragrance oil. So this is the rubbing alcohol and the menthol crystals all melted. And now I'm going to add my, um, this is called Sinus and it's essential oil fragrance oil blend. And this is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Add my polysorbate 80 and that just helps to emulsify everything that's what polysorbate 80 is it's an emulsifier just brings everything together and then it just makes it easier for it to go down the drain so it doesn't leave any stains on your tub or shower okay so I'm just going to blend this up this right to my dry mixture and I'm just going to take my spatula and just get all of the uh, all the important ingredients that makes it smell so wonderful Okay, all right, let's stir this up. This batch is a little blue, <laughs> a little bluer, that's okay. So I'm just going to stir it up and make sure everything is combined. As you can see, you have a little bit of whiteness still there. So you just want to make sure everything's combined. And I use 
mixed. I try not to use my hands to mix anything up. I really use a spatula because some people have said or commented that it goes through their gloves and you want to make sure you have really good gloves. Uh, you can use two pairs so that's why it's good to use utensils and it's because of the menthol crystals they can be sensitive to your skin especially when they're in this form when they're dry it's not a problem you just don't want to touch your eyes off obviously afterwards it's like dealing with hot peppers okay Okay, so this is definitely wetter. And now I'm going to add my citric acid. And this I do sift also, you just, because of the clumps. And so it is cleaning a, a little bit. It is, oh, it's about 45% uh, for the moisture level here in the shop. And it has been about 30, so I've had to turn on the humidifier. And so you want it to be between 40 and 50. So that's why the citric acid is actually clinging to this bowls because of the moisture in the air. All right, let's just make sure everything is incorporated. really nice. So it's perfect. I can already tell just by um, stirring it around that it's definitely at a more... Um, whew, wow, you can really smell that. Oh my gosh, wow. Yes, it is strong. <laughs> but it's definitely... Um, I can just tell how it hangs on the spoon. This is really wet. <laughs> but that's okay. It might have a few little bumps. We'll see tomorrow. But I turned off the humidifier, so. And if you're making this during the summertime, you want a dehumidifier. So make sure that you have the appropriate equipment uh, when making shower steamers or bath bombs. Let's get all the extra off. Okay, so let's do the test. Squeeze it, and you drop it, and see it stays. And it still comes apart. So that's the test. You squeeze, and it, like this is perfect. Okay, so let's use the Arbor Press in making the cloud shower steam. Okay, so now I am going to weigh this out. I'm just wiping off all the extra here. I didn't do that. And I'm going to make another batch. Uh, it's a different, it's like the regular formula. And I'm going to make some shower tabs. So it is late at night. It's like quarter five. Because I want these to be, um, I want these to be two ounce shower steamers. Okay, so let's do it. I know you've been waiting. I do have it a little bit further away from myself. It's a little bit slippery. Hopefully, still in the, in the screen. Okay, so now 
put it like that. And you want to tap it. So I'm going to flip it over. Tap this here. Pull this out. That's perfect. Look at that. No cracks. And then, oops. Okay. Mm, got a little crack there. Still a little bit of a learning curve on this. And now I have to get my. I should have more of my stuff ready, and I don't. Just have to adjust everything. So I'm going to flip this over. Just make sure I have everything in the. Here, so and then just release it like that. Hopefully you're seeing this. And then I'm just going to tap the edge of it. And you just want to break the suction, that's what you're doing. So hopefully you can see that. So press it down, and I'm going to tap it just a little bit. Some of that stuff released, and then put it back in my mold. Press it down really hard, and you're just using your own force. Okay. Right. So now you flip it over. Just try to push it up like so. There we go. Okay, now take it and you flip it over. And then you're just tapping the side here. I'm going to go like that because it's a bit easier. And you're trying to break the suction. Let's try it again. All right, let's keep going. So you are working different muscles. <laughs> continue making these and then I'll show you the final product.